I've been dealing with this two years now. It is what it is. The fans can talk whatever they want to. It doesn't matter to me. When you say you've been, doing, you've been dealing with this for the past few years, what is this? What do you mean by that? The media making me a villain. The fans making me a villain. And then that just creates a whole different persona on me. So now you think I intended to hit LeBron James in the nuts. I'm playing basketball, a basketball player. Marcus Thompson, from The Athletic. I feel like Cuddy from Dead Presidents when it comes to Dylan Brooks. I tried to be a friend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, it is yeah. like, like the other day, the other day, shout out to Clifton Powell. The other day, I'm like, Michael will tell you, I'm like, you know what? I appreciate Dylan Brooks's commitment and consistency yeah. to being a heel, to being a clown. Now, you go hit a dude in the nuts in a game in which you suck, and first and foremost, not have the balls to talk to show up after yeah. the game. This, what we just heard from Dylan Brooks was after practice yesterday. I ain't talking. Bro, that's all you do. That's all the right. reason we know you is because that's you it. talk a lot and you dress like a like like a rapper and you and, and you and you talk about your game even if your actual game don't back it up. Now you out here blaming the media, the media for for making you the villain. I thought that's what that was the role you were embracing. Your once upon a time idol Draymond would never cry about somebody making you something that you have sought sought out the opportunity to be. Having said all that, the Lakers can't get them up out of here fast enough as far as I'm concerned. No disrespect to Ja, who despite his pain was a pleasure to watch, Marcus. Yeah, this is very disappointing from Dylan, I must say. Yeah. I'm not a Dylan Brooks fan as far as like his game. I don't think he's that good, but right. I respected his hustle, man. We talk about Dylan Brooks, you know, because he's really you know? good at making us talk about Dylan Brooks. I just right. remember all this talk about running up chimneys and wanting to smoke. My man's got a little bit of smoke and duct. Like, come on. I feel like the, I feel like it's on the rest of the Grizzlies to be like, nah, that's not what we about. Go take that podium. Go sit up at that mic. So. I feel like he missed an opportunity to lean in. This is against LeBron. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You was about to really you this is Lance Stevenson's whole career right here. Lance Stevenson is worldwide famous now for blowing him. He's right? supposed to lean in. Instead, he ducking <laughs> Wait, it. That was Mike, I'm thoroughly disappointing. Mike, what was that? What was that scientific term you used? It wasn't it wasn't the, the it's a symbiote. It's something what you use um talking about what 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 Dylan Brooks is for LeBron, like just basically leeching off LeBron. Didn't you use that the other day? Or am I, am I making that up? Oh, yeah, you know, no, he's a barnacle. He's oh. a barnacle. He's yeah, just a yeah. barnacle, man. That's <laughs> yeah, what he is. Right. That's what he right. is. You can't he detach is from your host. You can't detach from your <laughs> host if you're a barnacle. You <laughs> exactly. got to fuck it up, man. Right. Come on. Marcus, this is it right 100%. here. 100%. Thank you. 100%. Like, that's, a, that, that's, that's, how he's, like, that's how he sustains himself. LeBron went down off that. I mean, I barely touched him. I didn't know I was that strong, man. Right. I've been talking more head if I was him. Right. I'm just I'm disappointed he missed the opportunity. Yeah, but Come as on, Dylan, step it up. Hey, listen, listen, Marcus, it's National Poetry Month. So as the poet Draymond said about Dylan Brooks, the dynasty starts after you, not with you. It starts <laughs> after you. Okay, you ain't a part That's of a it. Bar. You ain't a part of it. That's a bar. But I, it was a great bar. It was a great one uh, on his podcast. <laughs> but I do want to ask about Memphis. You know, writ large, are we? Uh, are, should we write them off? I mean, they're down 2 one. It feels like it's worse. Is this a real series or are the Lakers just got too much for them? I think Ja might be good enough to make this a series. Like he just had that. Like we ain't losing the day vibe right in LA. Yeah. And look, first game in LA always tough, right? That LA get you LA get you by the heat. Like you, you got You got the LA flu game one. So I want to see how they respond to game two and they are missing Steven Adams and Brandon Clark. I do think that's important but man look it, there's no question they didn't make some changes there is absolutely no question they've got some pieces to move around and one of them is dylan brooks like they just simply don't have the support on the wing they don't have the shot creation ja gotta go hero miracle ball to keep them in the game and dylan brooks be trying to go hero ball and he shouldn't right like and you're watching d'anthony melton out here balling with the 76ers and it's like mm -hmm. 
that's kind of more what they need, right? Somebody who's yeah. not like dominating the rock, but getting it done. So I do think it's very clear that they need to make some tweaks if they really want to be all they say they are. With that said, I could see the Lakers tricking off a game <laughs> and Ja going crazy <laughs> and making this a series. That's very possible. Well, well, listen, with all due respect to how dominant AD has been and him and LeBron, um, and I know it's series to series and it's all about matchups, but would you make a case? Oh, what's this? What? Oh, what? here we go. Okay. What? All right. Boy, she okay. can't I'm going to show you how it's done. Hey, Dylan Brooks, you know I'm, I'm going to show you how it's done. Going and going I'm, and going. I'm, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to sit here, Dylan. You just got to sit here and no. take it. No, go ahead. No, you got to take nothing. You ain't got to take nothing. Don't. Don't call me whack ass Dylan. If you're gonna compare me to a real villain, compare me to Draymond Green. That's first and foremost. But wait but, a second, Natalie. Before you go off, okay? Because I was about to ask about Katie and, and Booker, like best duo, but okay, fine. Here you are. Best duo where? I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, but wait a second. Please do not come talking shit after a one point win when Harrison Barnes had a great look, okay? Hold on. And now you're probably, no. you're probably gonna end up right about Warriors in six because De'Aaron Fox got a fractured finger See, and he's doubtful is... for game five. So you're going to luck up and be right. So please don't come talking trash. No, I'm going to talk, but this is the shit I'm talking about. I want Fox to play and to be healthy. I was distraught when I heard that news because now y'all got a built-in excuse for why when my Warriors <laughs> win the next two and have the four games, like I said that they would, you're going to say, oh, De'Aaron Fox was hurt. And by the way, y'all wasn't Damn talking right. all this shit. Y'all weren't talking all this shit when Andrew Wiggins had a three and they only won by a couple of points. And I pointed out that the Warriors controlled the game and could have still won that you were like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. So now nah, oh, you're no, not going to no, try no. to flip that on oh, me no. now. I'm not like, saying could have, would have, Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they got the W what? and they're just lucky that my goat, yes, he had a wild blunder, but my my guy Steph had a blunder. That's the only reason they had a chance to win at the end because the, it was the Warriors game. So enough but about Mar that. Wait, also, let me let me talk to let me talk to a voice of reason, <laughs> Marcus. See the difference between me and Michael and Natalie is we were now just disrespecting Golden State. She was acting like the Kings didn't belong on the same court. They were going to be nothing but a little mosquito That's and aggravating true. gnat. You know, no pun intended, no. like a gnat. You know, <laughs> to the Warriors, and so. I'm so I'm not saying that the win don't count. I'm just saying you can't come in here the other day when they won without Draymond and I showed up on Friday for that smoke that was warranted because Michael and I didn't think they had a chance to stop to stop them without Draymond. They made a great day. They, they won without Draymond. Then Marcus made a great adjustment by bringing Draymond off the bench to start the game. We'll see what they do the next one and, and, and not having him and Looney on the floor at least to start. I'm just saying that the Kings could easily won that game. Ain't no comma for ain't no collar for coulda, but they could have won it, Marcus. They could have uh, won, and the Warriors the think, Warriors could have won it. Sorry, Marcus. Mike, Go I ahead. Think, I'm sorry. I actually think that's I think the fact that what we were learning in this series is that the Kings are legit makes it probably an even better win. Like this team is tough, bro. Like tell that to Natalie. They they they, they, they come through like <laughs> they no, nah, I, I think I think she knows it. Like they have a an a, yeah. they have a star player, right? Who attacks they they you know they have a really great coach who knows how to scheme. I feel like they they beat most teams in this series. I, I feel like if they win this series, you you could put them in the West Finals. Like they're that good. They're that well rounded, well coached. I think one thing we've learned is that this is a this is an incredible foe. So the fact that they are kind of coming through on this uh, is more of a testament to their inexperience and championship pedigree. I think I, I feel like that's a game the Warriors lose in, in many in many situations this season. But man, like Clay knuckled down. Clay is guarding Sabonis in the post, which by the way is unacceptable of you, Sabonis. But <laughs> I mean, this team just win. They just find ways to win. I feel like that's the He's only thing that's job. separating them right now. They do. They just find yeah. ways to win. And that, I, I, I was thinking that. the same thing, Mike. Like you can't, you can't be tricking off games like this. But after you talk to them, it make it does make a lot of well, sense. This is what they do, you, man. You they gotta, find they find ways to win. They they always do seem to figure it out. All jokes aside, Natalie and Marcus had a great line. I think in, in your article today in the Athletic, I think it was falling forward is still progress, Natalie. Yes, but also like this, this 
incorrect description of my respect for the kings we're gonna stop this because this is how you spread lies i have always respected the kings. <laughs> yes darren fox is absolutely one of my favorite players in the league i've been on darren fox greater than Ja for a minute like i completely respect the kings and the only thing that i simply said was that if the series were to start in golden state versus on the road i just think it's a shorter series and but it's not but you can have a five game series and it still be a hard series that doesn't mean that you don't respect the team and that they're not good but you can have a short series that's still hard and so yeah i thought the series would go five or six i don't like to hedge so i said five but i completely respect the, the the Kings, even when I did a preview for the series, I said, unlike other young teams, the Kings are incredibly poised, you know, and Mike Brown's a really smart coach. This is not the Wolves over here. Like, they're not going to just trick it off. And, or and, the and they're not, hey, yeah, or the Grizzlies. It's not one of those teams. Hey, and they're, Anthony, they're, hey, Anthony Edwards was that, is that dude, was that dude last night at least? That's Anthony Edwards, but they still almost, that's they still almost they tricked it. Three but three three but up 12, they still up 12 with three minutes to play. Yes. And they did But a win is a win. But a win is a win. Yeah. I, um, I, go ahead, Mike. But, yet, I, I, but let me, let me, let me, let me uh, hit y'all with this, though, please. I, I, as I said in the feed, I love watching the Warriors. I have loved watching them play. Some of their, some of their descriptions just get on my nerves, get on my last nerve. Now, I just <laughs> quoted Draymond Green, the bars. Give them love for the bars when they're accurate. What the hell is he talking about with this Draymond rule? Ain't no Draymond rule. He's like, oh yeah, they out, they ain't out to get you, Draymond. There, well, there is now. Yeah. They ain't out to get Draymond. Uh, what's Dray? Okay, you get a technical, I mean, you get technicals, are. you get thrown, you get thrown out nah. of the game. The dude's been ejected 18 times in his career. The dude's been suspended four times. He got like. Tons of technical fouls, over a hundred technical fouls. What's the Draymond rule? But that's rule? why it's a Draymond and rule. And B has more that, than that's him. That's why it's a Draymond rule. But exactly. That's the rule. What's the rule? rule? I don't get it. The rule what, 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 is what they do for him. Number one, they started saying, "Hey, we gonna if if we don't like your history, we gonna count. We gonna I, come I, with I, that. I, like I that's the like Draymond that. rule." Always and Doc that. Rivers came. Doc Rivers that's now Dennis came up with it. It wasn't Draymond. That's Dennis Rodman. Doc Rivers said do, it. That's it. Doc Rivers, stop pandering, Doc. First of all, worry about like worry about getting out the second round. Why is he First of all, you worry he about you worry about Philly. Why are you so worry triggered, about Philly. Worry you about mad, bro? I'm saying Why are you so triggered? I'm mad. I am. I am. Listen, <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Den when when Draymond was in diapers, Dennis Rodman was the bad boy of the NBA, and he had his whole reputation. This ain't nothing new. Draymond didn't invent oh, it's something. Not new. It ain't out to no, get it's him. not new. But but they didn't have this system of flagrant fouls and all this stuff in place. That stuff wasn't in place. Like we're talking, it's only Draymond rules in the way that it's modern. Like just because they had rules for Bill Russell or Will Chamberlain doesn't mean Jordan rules didn't exist, right? Like rules, they have them, and we're talking about an era. And they're saying Draymond, we don't like the way you act on the court. It wasn't with with, with Dennis Rodman, it was Bill Lane Beer. It was about what they've done. With Draymond, it's like, man, we don't like you acting. We don't like you playing the villain. Exactly. We don't like you yelling at the crowd and carrying on. And that is unique. Like, we ain't never seen a dude basically say, look, you got kicked out of a game of a playoff game and the game that y'all lost. And that wasn't enough because we don't like that you was yelling back at the crowd. Like, that's a very yeah. specific indictment from basically a father figure in Joe Dumars. And we all know how old black people be like, man, don't be acting up in front of these white people. That's basically yeah. that's basically what he was saying. <laughs> that is a very unique stance. Like Adam Silver can't say that, which is probably well, why Adam Silver got... wasn't out there explaining yeah. it. But it's like, yo, and there have since talking. then there have since then they been multiple players chairs. who did things worse than Draymond on the court or equal, and there was no second penalty for them who have a equal or worse history than Draymond. So you it is unique to him, Michael. You gotta acknowledge Who's got a worse that. history. Who's got a worse history than Draymond? Can I Joel Embiid has more flagrant fouls than than Draymond Green, and he's played many less games. Dylan Brooks, no extra penalty. Hmm. They do. The numbers hmm. are there. Hmm. He don't do a podcast though, so maybe that's what it is. Uh, hey, before we go, um, I do want to I want to sneak in a quick Eastern Conference name because I'm I swear Michael been doing, and I've been doing this show since the bubble. I feel like it was the bubble. Um, if there was if I had one game to win right now, I picked Jimmy Butler. 
Speaking of Warriors, I, I, I just pick Jimmy Butler. Let's write. I'm saying That's in terms right. of just like his. I'm you I, talking I, about I lock Jimmy Butler or not? Jimmy Butler with I'm the locks about, or no? Which one? Play, I'm talking about whatever he wearing in the playoffs. I'm just saying <laughs> something about this dude. Having said that, are we on our way? Because Gian- I don't know about Giannis tonight. On our way to seeing Knicks Heat for old time's sake, Marcus. Oh, please. Can we? I don't think we are. I think Giannis is no. going to come back and then it'll be over. But, oh, I would love to see Nick's Heat. I would love Van Gundy to call the games. I would love Allen Houston to be hanging hanging around somewhere. Give me the nostalgia. Matter of fact, put it on NBC so we can get the... Yes. Get the wild ball. Yes. You're not even getting to 100 in these games. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. Thank you. Thank you. Natalie. Too young to yeah. appreciate. She too yeah, young. Bring out a young she like, she like Lonzo morning. Bring a Lonzo morning out. Lonzo you know pass line. Where's John Scott? Natalie got the key. She got the alarm code. She just busting all up in there talking about the upper room. We we out here talking about other playoff series, and she she got to come in and push her chest out for the for the for her Warriors. Yeah, they probably gonna win it. Probably going to win it in six or seven, just like she said. Uh, Bye, Natalie. Thank you, Marcus. (laughs) No problem. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.